Welcome back to the channel and today we're talking Transformers and most specifically Bumblebee the movie which is set for release in December of 2018 and yesterday at CinemaCon was the Paramount presentation which we'd all been waiting for and I just like you waited, waited and waited for that trailer to appear online and we got nothing. But do not be disheartened just yet because it could be that Paramount just want to take their time to digest the feedback that they received at CinemaCon regarding the footage that they showed and they did show footage. There was an exclusive clip shown and this tweet proves it. To get the show started, director Travis Knight of the Bumblebee movie brings out the cast of Hayley Steinfeld John Cena and Jorg Lendenborg to preview an exclusive clip. So, you know, we know that there is footage in circulation, but it hasn't come out online just yet. And I would have to say that I expect it will because we've seen the likes of Venom come out online. So it may just be that Paramount wants to take a little more time before dropping this worldwide, taking the feedback that they had at CinemaCon because we know that the judgment will come when this is released online. So they want to be ready for it. And this clip and this exclusive footage was also backed up by Hayley Steinfeld because she tweeted out too, showed a little sneak peek of Bumblebee the movie in Vegas at CinemaCon. Then I walked around the casino for some poster signings and even stood on some tables to get the perfect shot with one Bumblebee. So this is super exciting because this is the first time that the media campaign and promotional work has got going for Bumblebee the movie and it's at a time when most Transformers fans have been feeling rather let down, rather disappointed and the feeling that maybe Hasbro and Paramount aren't invested in the Bumblebee movie. Well, I think that's kind of being proven wrong right now because there was heavy marketing at uh, CinemaCon and also I think I think that Paramount just wanted to give some breathing space between Transformers the last night and Bumblebee the movie because this is the first spin-off and this is the first film that will not be directed by Michael Bay. This is coming from Travis Knight so this is going to give us a new take on a Transformers film for the first time. And with the fact that the critics slammed Transformers the last night and fans were left disappointed, it makes sense to give that breathing space. And also, I can understand as well why Transformers has been removed by Paramount and Hasbro from their movie slate. Because it's not so certain that there will be a need for a reboot. Because this film could live up to the expectation of the fans. This film could be the film that does indeed, like John Cena said, reinvigorate the franchise. And if it does, why would there need to be a reboot? So I can understand it because maybe Paramount are thinking, well, if this movie does well, we take it from Travis Knight's Bumblebee the movie. And if not, and Bumblebee the movie is a failure, and it doesn't go down well with the critics or the fans, then we can reboot it. And that's not to say that if they did decide to go forward from Bumblebee the movie, that it wouldn't be a reboot as such. Because you could easily recast Sam Witwicky. You don't have to go back to Michael Bay's mythology. You could take things in an entire new direction. So both sides have their positives but it does depend on how well Bumblebee the movie does. If the reception is good, critics like it, and it does well at the box office, then we could see a continuation going forward. And I completely understand that logic because I think that Transformers as a movie franchise has been burned in the past because they had had so many expectations and then they were let down. You know, when we had that reboot with Transformers Age of Extinction. We thought that it was going to go in a new direction, but really it was kind of the same old. Um, and in fact, it wasn't as good 
as the past three films. And then we got to the last night and it felt like, and I don't know if anyone else felt this, but it did feel like it was time for a change. And that's not to say that I dislike those two films. Um, I enjoyed them. And the more I watched Transformers The Last Night, you know, the more I, I don't mind some of the things that I disliked when I saw it the first time round. But it did make me feel like, let's do something new. And now's the opportunity to do so. So it's an interesting time and it gets even more interesting because at CinemaCon, we got the detail of a confirmation of the first Decepticon that is involved in Bumblebee the movie. This is huge. And this detail was confirmed by JoeBlow.com who was at CinemaCon and did get to attend the Paramount event. And he tweeted out this, saw a sizzle reel type trailer for Bumblebee the movie as well. And it looks to have some of the big action as the other films, but with a more personal touch and a design that harkens back to the 80s toys. Also, looks a lot like there was a proper Starscream in there too. Starscream. Now, that is awesome because Starscream is one of my favorite Decepticons. I was so disappointed when he met his demise in Transformers Dark of the Moon, but it appears that Starscream is back because this film is set prior to any other Transformers movie. And it sounds like he looks very different. The key words, proper Starscream. Now we don't know exactly what that means, but could it mean that Starscream is going to look like this? Like his G1 form, back from the 80s. And how cool would that be to get to see a different robot mode look of Starscream? And we know that's possible because we know that Transformers can take different forms. So I'm very excited to see if potentially back then in the 80s, what Starscream scanned and how he looks and how different he looks to what we've seen on the big screen. I mean, many compare Starscream to a Dorito, which I think is a bit harsh. I didn't mind his design that much, but it's very interesting to see or hear that he looks like a proper Starscream. And this goes back to what many fans have been calling for, for Transformers on the big screen to go back to the days of G1 and really pay homage to it. And it sounds like maybe Travis Knight is doing that with Bumblebee and the Decepticons and Autobots which are involved in this movie. But Starscream being involved, is he the main villain? Or is he a messenger for someone else? I want you to let me know in the comments section below. I wanna hear your views and opinions on this. Yes, we don't have a sizzle reel or trailer to view ourselves just yet, but this is some great detail about this film coming out. So for the first time, actual information about Bumblebee the movie, Starscream is involved. We're not sure how much of a part he plays, but he is in it and he doesn't look the same as the Starscream that we have seen in the future from Michael Bay's vision. So get involved, let me know what you think. Definitely wanna get your views and opinions on this. Hopefully we will get to judge this ourselves if Paramount do indeed release this sizzle reel and clip worldwide. I would love to be able to react to it. I'm sure many of you do too. But for now, we can go off these details. And what do you think about Travis Knight potentially going back to the days of G1, paying homage to it in this film. How do you think Starscream's gonna look? Cannot wait to find out. No one has said yet that you get to see a Bumblebee transformation from him being the Beetle to his robot mode. No one said that just yet. But maybe, just maybe, that information will come out soon. And we're not even too sure yet how long this clip was. I'm sure it was short and sweet, but we'll have to wait and see.
So anyway, get involved via the comment section below. Let me know what you think of the information that I've given you today. I really want to get your views and opinions on it. And we wait for the Bumblebee sizzle reel slash trailer to come out so we can judge for ourselves. And all that's left to be said is please rate, comment, and subscribe. Sometimes cowards do survive. As Starscream would say, this is Delzinski signing out.